Brickle and Digby, the two traveling dogs, are in the natural state. The natural state is our can so So naturally, this must be the Arkansas edition of Stop Hounding Me. Ow! Now, of course, being in the natural state, that means two things. I'm going to use the word natural an unnatural amount of times. And we're also going to have contestants trying to answer our canine questions. So today we have with us Brandon, Shelly, Nancy, Michelle. And you guys are with Animal Welfare League, Hot Springs Village. Awesome. Now, also, we have four beautiful dogs with us. And who are they? Mallory, Ava, Lainey, Gia. That is great. Now, we have to ask you before we get started are you going to be able to kick the can of our canine questions or will they be cutting you down to size we're going to kick the can yes definitely well i'm sure that you guys will do a great job and if you lose you actually have to eat whatever is in this mystery can <laughs> well before we get started we have to get a great big hound dog howl on the count of three one two three oh! Oh! great great job now the first question that we have has to deal with a past president here in the beautiful state of arkansas he is from here bill clinton was famous for playing the saxophone our question is more dog related though if there was a canine saxophone that was tuned to the key of dog what would that sound and look like and i think you can take that question <laughs> <laughs> I, let's get a little bit more of that. I, 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 I like the sound of the canine saxophone. Please continue. <laughs> that is very good. I think the tenor sax and the alto sax have nothing to fear from the canine saxophone, but a great, great job. Now, the second question that we have is related to dog sounds. There's a town here in Arkansas where it is illegal for beautiful dogs like this to bark after 6 p.m. That sounds ridiculous, actually. But dogs, they make many other sounds. What is a unique sound, other than barking, that your dog makes? When Ava would like your attention, she snorts. She snorts. Well, well, let's uh, let's get a little example. <laughs> One more time for that. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> that, that is very very good that's very good and it's a unique sound so she can't get in trouble after 6 p.m. for snorting all right well great great job now I have to ask this question to you uh, it is illegal in one of the towns here in Arkansas to walk your cow down Main Street after 1 p.m. I walk my cow all the time no matter what time it is but the question is this where would you like to walk your dog that you cannot? Well, here in Arkansas, at least where we are, I don't know of any restaurants that are dog friendly. I wish I could take them to a So you would like to dine with your yes, dog? Yes, dine uh, or have coffee or something. Have yeah. coffee. Dogs like coffee sometimes. I'm not saying it's good for them. Don't yeah. give your dog coffee. but. You know, dining with your dog, that's a, a great answer. And I'm sure other people out there have places that they would like to be with their dog that sometimes they cannot. Well, maybe we can change that. Maybe here in Arkansas, we can start a uh, dining with your dog campaign or something yeah. like that. I can only tell you that with those perfect answers, you guys have won this oh. episode of Stop Hounding Me. If oh. on the count of three, you howl with me. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. Perfect, perfect. We didn't even have a question for you, but you're howling. I love that. I love that. That's great. Let's see what the animals under your care here have won. Uh, first of all, we have some Bowser beer. This is a non-alcoholic, which is very disappointing for me, non-alcoholic, but a wonderful treat for the dogs under your care. As well, we have Four Legger. This is some organic dog shampoo, so you can lather up all the beautiful dogs that you have. We have the Squeak and Snap. This plugs into your phone, and as soon as it squeaks, it takes perfect pictures of the beautiful animals that you have here at your organization. And we have a wonderful book, The Endless Path, a great book about a dog's journey through life with its person. Lastly, we have The Biscuit Barkery of Northern Colorado. 
they have donated $225 worth of gift certificates for you to use for the animals under your care. So again, wonderful products. We always uh, invite people to order those products online for their own dogs. Doing a little uh, animal gymnastics yeah, here, I see. Are, that's, yeah. that's wonderful. Well, let's talk a little bit about your organization. You have four beautiful dogs here today. Where did these dogs come from? Where did the majority of your animals come from? These four dogs were strays, came to us as strays. Uh, most of our dogs are strays. We do have some that are not, but most are, um, which is a real problem in our area. So we try different things. We, we take, when we get them, we take them to the vet and get them whatever medical care they need. It, they need. Um, we have a mobile spay neuter clinic that um, we have spayed and neutered over 3,600 dogs since 2007. And you guys also have worked with some uh, rabies clinics as well. We had a first time ever, we had a mobile rabies clinic. That so is great. we provided very, very low cost rabies shots. And you guys have some great fosters. I know you guys do have a facility, but you're able to help so many stray animals because you also have a great foster group. And these are crazy fosters. They actually yeah. even uh, go out of their way by doing what type of things? We have a couple of cat fosters that one has bought a new home so she can finish a room downstairs so she can have more cats. And the other one made some modifications to her home so she can house more cats. I heard it called a cat palace, actually. Yeah. What would you call a house that uh, houses dogs? A Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Taj Mahal. Like that. Well, we, we can only say that we thank you so much for all the work that you do here in the area. And we want to remind everyone out there to continue to keep checking back with their site and their Facebook page so you can see beautiful dogs like this and hopefully adopt these wonderful, wonderful dogs. We want to remind everybody, as Brickle and Digby always say, please make rescues the breed of choice. And all this week, continue to check back with the Two Traveling Dogs website and the Two Traveling Dogs Facebook page as all of these animals have been highlighted this week uh, on that page. And again, we thank all of you for all that you do, but we can only say that here is your wonderful gift for winning <laughs> this episode of Stop Hounding Me. And we can end it if on the count of three, all of you guys howl with me. One, two, three. Oh! Well, all the dog backs. Ava? Hey,